Well, Minnesota Day of Golf uh, is a really important thing because Minnesota in the golf community, whether it's you know in the U.S. the U.S. or even just you know globally, um, we have uh, a long history. We have a lot of participation. Uh, this is our real summer thing, um, maybe tied in with going to the lake. Uh, and we, we're really adamant about it. We have a lot of public facilities. And that's one of the things that makes Minnesota golf so unique. We've already got such a strong community of golfers here in Minnesota. Um, you know, they, they really embrace the game and they embrace the community aspect of it, uh, which is really cool. And this opportunity to have Golf Day Minnesota is just really a chance for us to tell our story. Um, you know, it's, it's a chance for us to kind of talk about all the great things that are happening in, in the state of golf uh, here in Minnesota. And, um, you know, it's just really cool to see kids out here playing golf and chipping and putting, um, hitting balls on the range. Youth on Course is just such an amazing program. Um, you know, it gives a chance for kids to get out and play golf for $5 per round, which can't hardly get anything for $5 a round or $5 anymore. Um, so. For that to be, you know, an opportunity to get out and, and play something uh, that you know gets them outside, gets them most of the time with family, uh, teaches them life lessons, uh, life skills is is such a crucial part of development. This is one of the greatest concepts I've ever heard. People are donating money to help subsidize rounds so kids can play for five dollars or less. What a concept! Knowing that cost is one of the major barriers between kids being able to not play golf and play golf. Now, 11 years later, and it's in every golf association across the country and Australia and Canada, and Minnesota MGA is the second largest youth on course association in the country. I mean, seeing it in person's just so much better than, than seeing stats on a computer screen right back in California. I mean, quite honestly, the Minnesota Golf Association, Minnesota in general, it's, it, the partnership is one of the most important that we have. Right, the growth here has been second to none. I mean, we're talking about 20,000 kids signed up by the end of the year for Youth On Course, playing over 100,000 subsidized rounds, 100 plus golf courses participating. And the most interesting part of that uh, is that I still think we're scratching the surface of what's possible here in Minnesota. And seeing just the, the attitude and the love of golf in this state uh, is pretty breathtaking, really. That is the whole point of Youth On Course, is that it's not just breaking down those cost barriers, it's getting those kids access, yes, to the venue, to the game. It also goes so far beyond that, right? It's life experience, it's, it's understanding, you know, the integrity of, of the game and thus life, learning, you know, rules, how to sort of police yourself on being, you know, a decent human being. I mean, the experiences that I've had in the game of golf is something that I hope that my kids have through the game of yeah. golf. You start adding up the sum total of all the good things that, that you potentially are gonna expose yourself and your family to, why not give it a go?